Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. And we are talking about relationship styles this week. The relationship style that we're going to be talking about today is called Monopoly. If you are just tuning in, make sure you go check out the series from Holly Amory. Um, we have done uh, Kitchen Table Poly. We've done... Um, open relationships, we've done threesomes versus hall pass, and all of that falls under polyamory. Um, we're reading this book, The Ethical Slut, for people who are interested in the lifestyle. Uh, look, my, my mind just went blank. Who are interested in the lifestyle community? Yes. Let me get myself together. Anyway, um, y'all, I'm going to do what I came to do, which is teach. I always start these videos off by saying these lessons are not designed to sway you one way or another. These lessons are designed to give you information because you have a lot of people that are out here living these particular type of lifestyles. Sometimes they are family members. Sometimes they are co-workers. Sometimes they are friends. And sometimes we just don't understand why it is that they're doing what they are doing. But I'm a firm believer that we have to do what works for us. And sometimes what may have worked at one point in your life, it may not be working at this point in your life. Things have happened and you've seen that, you know what, maybe we should try something else. So my job is to give you the information. So again, if you're interested in the LS lifestyle community, this is a great starting point, the ethical slip. Okay. So um, let me say this um, on my Instagram, someone basically was like, you know, you were teaching wife school and you were teaching couples how to stay together. Now you're teaching people how to um, cheat with permission or some sort of the way they worded it. Like now you basically teaching people how to cheat with permission or turn your head towards cheating and um, just accept cheating. Okay, this is a big, huge misconception. Okay, yes, I did teach wife school. Wife school was for people who were interested in learning the traditional values of being a wife because that is something that a lot of us have not seen, a lot of us do not know. And it was a time and place for wife school. If you're interested in wife school teachings, you can go through YouTube and you can find all of the wife school teachings, okay? This particular time, we're talking about um, poly relationships because those relationship styles exist too. The difference between what I was teaching in wife school and what I'm teaching now is in wife school, most times those are traditional marriages. Most times those are monogamous marriage marriages. However, when I was teaching wife school, I had several wives that were in um, what I would call open relationships where they would go out and dibble and dabble from time to time. So not every wife that came to wife school was there because they were a traditional wife. They just wanted some of the fundamental um, basis. Uh, as far as marriage and being a wife and so on and so forth, right? This is not giving people uh, permission to cheat or to turn your head to cheating because when you're dealing with um, polyamory, it's not cheating. It's consensual non-monogamy. The key word is consensual, meaning that me and you are in agreement about the relationship not having monogamy on one end or another or both, okay? Okay. This particular relationship style, monopoly, one person in a relationship is monogamous, the other person in a relationship is poly, meaning that they're dealing with multiples. What does this look like? Why would a couple want to have a monopoly relationship? All right, let's start with the first one. Different relationship orientations. Girl meets boy, boy meets girl, so on and so forth. Boy may meet girl. Boy may be monogamous, right? Yeah, men are monogamous too. Boy may be monogamous, but he meets a woman who is poly, meaning that she enjoys entertaining multiple people for whatever reason. It does not all have to be sexual. And he says, you know what? I like your vibe. Like, I like you so much and I enjoy spending time with you so much. I don't want to change who you are. I want to accept you for who you are and I want you to accept me for who I am. Now, I'm not going to go out there and deal with other people because that's not my desire. 
However, I'm not going to stop you from dealing with other people because I enjoy you just that much to the point that I'm willing to accept you, your sexual orientation, and basically how you move. And that's how a person would end up with a monopoly relationship because they had a different sexual, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, a different uh, relationship orientation. Okay. Another reason is, now this is huge, Mitch match sexual appetites and desires. Um, I may be going through the change of life, but my husband has a very strong or my spouse or significant other. I'm trying to break myself out of saying husband. I've been saying husband for 23 years, so bear with me, y'all. Um, but my significant other has a very high sex drive. I cannot match their sex drive. Well, we don't have to necessarily dissolve everything that we've worked for and built together. What I can do is say, you know what? I'm the one who can't keep up, but you can go out there and you can actually establish whatever type of relationship that you need to establish with someone else to get that void taken care of, to get that need taken care of. And that's basically what that, per that person, uh, that's what their purpose is in, in that person's life. To fill whatever void needs to be filled. Right? Um, Mitch match sexual desires. We talked about that yesterday. That's why a lot of people do hall passes. Well, this would be more long term, meaning I enjoy certain things sexually that you don't that you don't want to do. For example, me and you together. I enjoy anal. I'm a man, I enjoy anal. You don't enjoy anal. I should not have to not have anal because you don't enjoy anal. So now I'm going to go out there and I'm going to find somebody who enjoys anal just as much as me. And that is going to be their purpose. Um, you got couples who sleep in separate bedrooms in the house. Um, they, they, they share everything together but intimacy. Meaning that you could go out and you could get what you need. But at the same time, you're still here. You still reside here. Okay. This is, this is real life, people. People are actually doing this and it's working for them. Okay. I knew someone... All my life growing up. And the, the wife was just faithful, like God-fearing. And everybody used to feel like she was just crazy. Because her husband would be a ladies' man. And it was no secret, right? But she stayed. And she and I always said to myself, these people got to have an understanding. They don't nobody know about. Like, they have to have an understanding. This woman is not as crazy as everybody trying to make her out to be. These people have an understanding. Okay? So, I've seen it before. Long distance relationships. People who work on the road, gone three or four months at a time. It's understood that I'm not available to you to be able to be intimate. Some people, they out there working and they get in the bag and they saying, I understand I can't be there with you. So, with that being said, you go ahead and you go and do you. Prison relationships. I may not ever come home, but me and you are in a relationship. I don't have a choice but to be monogamous because I'm in a certain situation, which we know that ain't to be true either because people in prison, they they get off, they can do a whole lot, child. They can maintain multiple relationships. They ain't got number of time on their hands. But for the ones that are in prison who choose to be monogamous, right, their person may be out in the free world and their person may be living a poly life, even though they're still with them and they're away, Right. So we see that when I start putting this to like real life, it starts to make more sense to you because you're like, you know what? I know somebody that do that. I know somebody that live like that. Time limitations. What happens when we just, we have different jobs, different schedules, on and off days. We human. I was telling my friend last night, if you look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, sex is right down there with food and water. Right? So if I can't get it from you, then where do I get it from? I have to be able to get it from somewhere, right? I'm talking about that's the mentality of these people. I'm not saying that's the mentality of you. That's the mentality of these people. So with that being said, we on two different time schedules. Um, I'm always working. I'm doing turnarounds. I'm doing this. I'm working an extra shift at the hospital because we got COVID and monkeypox and this. So sometimes people say, you know what? Go get, go get what you need. And then come back to me. Because you have some people, 
Like me, I tell you in a heartbeat. Like, a lot, especially now that I'm a single woman, a lot of men meet me. And the first thing they want to do is talk about physical, physical, physical. But for me, it ain't it ain't got nothing to do with physical. For me, like, you can keep your body. I want your mind. Like, I don't necessarily, I, 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 I can enjoy your body at some point. But I want your mind. I'm, I'm a mental person. So with that being said, it's different for everybody. What works for one group may not have worked for another. But the reason I'm doing these videos is to be able to put these relationship styles out there so that you can see that everybody does not necessarily do things the same way. And it doesn't make them right or wrong. They're just doing what works for them. We have to stop. And someone inbox me. Um, she was sharing some of the stuff that I posted and basically her dad contacted her and he wasn't pleased, but it's a lifestyle that she's currently living. And I explained to her, you know, as adults, everybody not going to always be in agreement with, with how we move, but you have to do what, what works best for you in your household. So if, if what you're doing is working for you and your husband, you don't have to stop because that's what y'all agree upon. Okay. All right. That's going to wrap me up for today. I'm here at the PPG store. Come see me here at the PPG store. Um, those of y'all that have reached out to me about the challenge, just inbox me and I can send you the link to the fitness group. Y'all been seeing me jumping rope. Y'all been seeing me walking. Y'all have been seeing me basically trying to get my body right because when I'm out here naked, because yes, I'm going to be out here naked pretty soon. <laughs> When I'm out here and I'm doing the nude events and the nude beaches and the, the nude this, 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 that, the other, I want my body to be right. So I'm putting in a lot of work because when I shed these clothes, and this is things that I've always wanted to do. But, you know, when you have, um, when you're married and you are not in agreement, sometimes you can't do some of the things that you wanted, wanted may have wanted to do. I've always loved my industry, have always Wanted to take part in so many things that my industry had to offer. But, you know, for whatever reason, I couldn't. But now I can. So, again, um, if you want to join the challenge, send me the link. Send me an inbox and I'll send you the link to be able to join the challenge. And for whatever reason, you getting your body together, get your body together. Because y'all see, ain't he putting in some work, child, to get this body together. Everything falling off. My, my jumpsuit I got on today too big. I got a belt holding it up. All that, but... You know, them, them good problems to have. I'm like, if the only problem that I got today is my damn bra too big, then I can deal with that. I can deal with that. The only problem that I got is I got to add a belt loop to my belt. I can deal with that. I just don't want to deal with some other stuff. Okay? All right. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Come see me here at the PPG store. You all be blessed.